get that off the screen. How dare you? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final game of week two here at the, uh, in the Middle Atlantic Mulling League Spike Magazine Trophy. Tonight, S has <laughs> just revealed it's going to be. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, now what? <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try this. Hey, look at that! It's Pips Pippy Fan Club versus Take the One, Take the Bad. El Numerino versus Ava Unit 2, Lizards versus what else? Wow, <laughs> what a start to this game. <laughs> Let's take a look at the standings before we take a look at the rosters. One game left in week two. That's Take the One, Take the Bad versus Pips, Pippi Fan Club, PPFC. Both those teams sitting in sixth place currently with a draw in week one. Those are the standings for everyone else. You can see Tracksuit Mafia is sitting pretty by their lonesome in first place with six points, a plus four TD differential. They have not given up a single touchdown so far in this competition. The winner tonight will advance to third or perhaps even second place uh we'll see what happens it's gonna be lizards it's gonna be what else man i don't know i i think it's a 50 50 matchup tonight i i don't think one team's favored over the other but first we have el numerino's pips pippy fan club they are of course a lizard team tv of 14 20 oh my goodness you, yeah, yeah, I see you. <laughs> I see you, Shakira. 13 player roster, six sources. Of course, Bjork, the Crocs, everybody else is skinks. That's uh, another six skinks. Christina Aguilera has a smashed hip. I think it's a smashed hip. Let's see, smashed knee. Oh, I'm sorry, she has a serious concussion. My apologies, Christina, I hope you're feeling better. But in the meantime, her AV has been permanently reduced to six. It used to be a week seven. It is now a pitiful six Fiona Apple with a smashed knee. Uh, she has an injury. It doesn't affect her stats at all, but it does mean that every armor roll that she, or I'm sorry, every injury roll that she takes is gonna have a plus one apply to it. And so these two skinks, you can bet, take the wood, take the bat, are gonna try to hunt if they are on the pitch. Britney Spears, the number one skink, level up, level two, has the uh, sure step ability, or the sure step skill, not a bad skill to take at all. Shakira just leveled up moments ago, and naturally she picks up the sure hand skill. This is gonna negate the strip ball skill on the war dancers in tonight's matchup. Three TRRs, one apothecary, six fan factor. Everybody loves PPFC. They'll be up against, take the wood, take the bat tonight. Take the wood, take the bat, coming in at a TV of 1270. What does that mean? Wow. Wow. You see that TV difference? You see that TV difference? You know what that TV difference means, right? You know what that TV difference means. That TV difference means, I think, I think we're gonna see a wizard tonight. But we'll take a look at, <laughs> take the win, take the bads, line up first. SP Beaver says it means you need to lose a war dancer. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> 11 man roster for Take the Wood, Take the Bad tonight. They too are coming in with two injuries. Dindiorn is with, uh, I think he has the smash tip, reduced his MA from seven to six. He's gonna remain on the roster. Dinadil also has a smash knee, plus one to all of his injury rolls going forward. He will stay on the roster in the meantime. Everybody else on this lineup is a lineman except for two. There are only two positionals on this lineup and they are the war dancers, Thatica and Ril Kadath. They come with block, they come with dodge, they come with leap. Both have picked up the strip ball skill that will be negated by Shakira, who is almost certainly going to be the ball carrier tonight. And Thatica picked up Dauntless. This is gonna be great against these Saruses. That means one assist will get Thatica the two die block, but Thatica probably doesn't even care and will happily, merrily take the one die block if uh, if if need be. SP Beaver says, you kept an MA6 lineman? I all my guys are super expensive. I kept everyone. <laughs> I had to spend the money on the TRR. <laughs> Bring the TRRs up to three. Uh, but yeah, so you'll see a few uh, key level up here on these, on these linemen. Bellar Nyla 
picked up an extra agility point. That brings him up to a massive agility of five, and that will almost certainly be the passer tonight. Femice picked up the guard skill, will be able to lend an assist even when marked. Good on the line, good on defense. And Dil Galil picked up the wrestle skill. Wrestle is a fantastic skill for Wood Elves. Uh, for weaker teams in general, wrestle means on a both down result, both players can go prone, no injury, no armor roll is made. It's not a turnover, but this is great to keep players alive. And when you have an MA advantage over your opponent, you can knock them down. They'll be knocked down. You can get back up. You can move way faster than they can, but it keeps them alive. It's a really good skill to pick up, especially on weaker teams on these AV7 teams. One cheerleader, three TRRs, one apothecary, and just four fan factor. Man, we cannot keep up with the fans of PPFC. And Clive says, I don't like this keep them alive plan. I adore it. I love it. I think it's great. What's going to happen here tonight? Boy, well, I think Take the Wood, Take the Bat has to hunt those skinks. What do you think? I think that's what they have to do. They have to hunt those skinks, but they're going to pick up a wizard for sure. Well, not for sure. We're going to look at our, um, our star players first. But uh, barring that... I don't even remember what star players are, are available for, for what else. But barring that, uh, a wizard's a great pick, in my opinion, for a wood elf team, for an elven team in general. Uh, these wood elves have the war dancers. The war dancers are the star of the show. They have block, they have dodge, they're, they're cage busters. You can fireball a cage and have a decent shot of, of grabbing that ball. You Against the faster team, say a, a scathing gutter runner gets by you, you can lightning bolt the gutter runner, and then you're there. You're right there on the ball because you have the speed to get there. It's very, very powerful for any team, and I think it's really powerful for a Wood Elf team. So I think we're going to pick it up tonight, uh, unless we find a star player we really, really like, uh, and we're going to leverage that uh, when we need to. Otherwise, the name of the game for Take the Wood, Take the Bat is to keep your players alive on defense. On offense, score when you can. Uh, if they win the coin toss, they'll be on defense in the first half. Otherwise, they'll just try to keep their players alive. They will hunt those skinks with those war dancers. They'll even hunt the skinks with the linemen if given the opportunity. Taking those skinks off the pitch, especially the two injured ones, if they're gonna be on the pitch, uh, by all means, go after those. If you can get a player advantage, especially against this really strong Lizardmen team, then that's the way to do it. Another thing Take the Wood, Take the Back can do is in key plays, they can try to lock down these Sauruses. They can go in and mark a Saurus. They don't have to take the block. They will need a two-die block coming back, uh, they could very well get injured for that. Uh, but if it's a key play, if it causes a score that might be an opportunity for Take the Wood, Take the Bad to have, on PPFC's side, they've got these very strong Sarses, strength of four. They've definitely got the strength advantage. They're going to be hunting everyone. Uh, they want to take marks wherever they can. They do have to be careful of these war dancers. They have to be a little bit careful of Femice and even Dil Galil here with the wrestle skill. Dil Galil, if not careful, PPFC can find themselves without a key player to lend an assist, without a key player to exert tackle zones, and they'll get nothing in return for it. So they do have to be a little bit careful there, but otherwise, they're gonna be hunting these, these fragile elves. They all have an AV of seven. They have the strength advantage. They're going elf hunting tonight. If they can get the player advantage, they'll come out on top. Uh, but again, I, I, I think this is a 5-5 matchup. I don't I don't think one team is favored over the other, not, not coach-wise, but just uh, race-wise. I think Wood Elves versus Lizardmen, I think it's it's 5-5. Five, five. If we have to go coach-wise, honestly, I think I am the underdog. <laughs> but but we'll see. I'll, uh, uh, it's bound to be a fun match either way. So we'll see if El Nuberino is ready to go, and we'll get this game underway.
All right, it looks like we're ready to get underway. Let's go to not Cabal TV. I'm playing tonight. Man, where is my head? All right, let's see what we're going to pick up for. What was it? 220K in inducement money? 70K in the bank for PPFC right now. Uh, uh, 150K. Oh, that's a wizard. That's a wizard. That's a wizard. Let's see what we have for star players. Nope, nope, nope. All right, long stride. What's, what's this? Pass block, no. Kickoff return, kicker, no, no, no. Although kick's not bad. Willow, I don't like. Oh, it's Buffy the Vampire. It's, I'm sorry, Zara the Gen Generic Slayer. Uh, no, I don't like Willow. Kick's not bad. I don't, I don't think it's worth the, the uh, star player. Um, especially not in this matchup where where lizards aren't aren't particularly fast. They don't have the speed advantage, but um, uh, I think we gotta go wizard, man. I think we gotta go wizard. I think that's what we have to do. Wizard! <laughs> All right. Match is about to begin. Take the wood, take the bat. It's gonna pick up a wizard. First wizard of the Spike Magazine trophy. Currently playing at Pips Pippy Stadium. Pips Pippy Fan Club versus Take the Wood, Take the Bad. Look at this massive PPFC team. All of those incredibly strong Sarses. Looks like we have clear skies to start this game. 13 player roster. There's the Croxagor with that strength of five. That prehensile tail can keep some. Uh, uh, Elves in check. I was going to say wizards. <laughs> and there's the 11-man roster for Take the Wood, Take the Bad. <laughs> Clive says Saurus? Wizard. All six-letter words. Coincidence? Yes. <laughs> Here's coin toss. Uh, we are going to be on defense. All right, we're gonna set up on D to start this game. Why don't we do this? Um, I am willing to, so, so this is a pretty typical setup here. You'll see uh, this default setup where we're not giving up any space over here and we're giving up this right wide zone. I'm actually okay with giving up a little bit of the left wide zone here, the giving up that sideline. I am fine with this. And that's because I have the speed vantage. Uh, sure, it's only one point of movement, generally speaking, unless we're talking about the war dancers, but that's enough. If he wants to try to commit down that side, that sideline, he's really not gonna be able to get away. So I, I like to have more of a a broader coverage here and, and try to make him pick where to go rather than saying committing him to one wide zone or the other and then uh, me just collapsing my defense down. Uh, this plays a little more to my style and gives me a little more options to get aggressive on this ball if I want to. And I want to. So I think that's what we'll do to set up. Um, I don't know about this guy. Let's swap these guys. And this guy can stay here. Now, let's swap these guys. Probably do that, I think. And that'll be it. SP Beaver says, I still think the best play is to leap both war dancers into the cage, then fireball. It maximizes his chance to catch the ball the fireball. I'm going to disagree with that tactic. <laughs> Both Clypheus and SB Beaver are asking for an 11-man line. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see if the injured skinks are on the pitch. I have to imagine they won't be. One of them's off the pitch. That's Fiona Apple. Who's the other one? 
There you can see Shakira. She is most certainly going to be the ball carrier. She has that sure hand skill. Sure hands allows her to negate the strip ball skill. The strip ball skill is a key skill on these war dancers that allows them to leap into a cage and break it. Six man line currently for PPFC. Has Shakira right at center to receive. Two players back to receive. Uh, uh, Shakira's a little forward. Might hand off to Shakira. See what he wants to do. SB Beaver says, how dare you disregard the solid advice from a coach who has yet to give up a score. <laughs> I think I'm good. Five man offensive line now for PPFC. All right, we're just gonna go with a nice, easy kick. Can't fail. Here's the kick to start this game. Final game of week two. Take the wood, take the bag, gets an extra TRR that brings them up to four. They'll take it. Kicks to the weak side. Now PPFC will be on offense. They have three blocks on the line. We'll see if they reposition to get on the ball first. They also have a blitz to take. Avril Levine is getting onto the ball first. Yeah, good play. Blood Bowl is a game of luck mitigation. You want to take your risk-free actions first. Your, your least risky actions first and your most risky actions last, all things being equal. Uh, the game gets interesting when uh, opponents put you in a, po in a position to have to take risks out of order. Um, and that's, that's really where the basics of Blood Bowl all come down. Two skinks over, shifting over to the Right wide zone, three now. He's gonna set up a cage at the 12, at his own 12 yard line. So he's gonna pull a Saurus back or he's gonna leave the corner of the cage open. Looks like he's taking the blocks on the line. Take the wood, take the bad with plus one fame advantage. Fame advantage and an extra reroll, let's go. Buffy says, nothing can get in the back of the cage. How dare you? You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Good block on the line. Second block on the line. He's trying to shift this line to the left. Siding against that. He's going to shift this player uh, probably straight back. Yeah. Good block on number five, Teleneur. Follows up with the Sara. So now, oh boy. Oh boy, three die block on the center. It's gonna be a good knockdown on Femice. <laughs> Still has a blitz to take. Where will the blitz be taken? Life. It says, foul with the Crocs. Yes, please, foul with the Crocs. <laughs> Gonna pull Osiris back to get toward the ball. 15 seconds left for PPFC here in the first turn of this game. Final game of week two. Failed the boneheaded roll. He's not gonna spend the TRR. Uh, of course not, that's a good Good call by El Nuberino. There's the ball pickup. Fan with sure hands. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, well, well. Well, well. <laughs> Let's see. Snake eyes on the pickup. I think we are gonna try to pick, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we should try to pick the ball up. Uh, let's see, why don't we take a blitz? We'll take a blitz with Dauntless Man. Dauntless Bro. Uh, we'll blitz, whoops. 
We'll go here. Uh, and then we're going to, um, hmm, I want to dodge these guys out, so I'm going to do that last. Let's do GFI Blitz with Dauntless Bro. Yeah, why not? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Good block. We're going to block this Saurus over here. We'll stay put. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I need to stop talking and start moving. First dodge on the line, good dodge. Second dodge on the line, good dodge. Final dodge on the line, good dodge. I think that'll be our turn. Turn two, back to PPFC. Clive said he didn't go off the ball. I didn't. Uh, we'll see if he wants to shift laterally back to the left or not. He's got a decision to make here. You either cage up come back to center pitch, or he can shift all the way laterally. I think we're fine with either movement. If he does that, we'll get some players behind the ball. He might try to screen them out with some Saurus's, but they'll take some Saurus's off the off the play. Uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He's got, he's got decisions to make. He could throw the ball. It's a GFI to pick up. Uh, at, at best, it would be a GFI to dodge out. Uh, and then we're still on the sideline, so I don't I don't think we want to pick that ball up. There's the ball pickup. Good pickup by Shakira. Yes, indeed, he's going to shift back to center pitch. Probably try to cage up here at center pitch on the uh, six yard line on his own six yard line. Pulls the Crocs over, gets a mark on number 10. Brittany Spears moves over to the left side. Left side of the pitch on the four yard line. Trying to set up an offensive formation here to protect the ball carrier and give him movement options. Good play by PPFC. Two, two die or two GFI blitz decided against that. He's going to do a stand up blitz straight ahead. Deciding against that as well. Two seconds left. He's going to take the two die blitz against number seven. The lineman gets a push out of it. He'll follow up and get the mark. Maybe no. He says, you know what? I don't want you taking the block. Final movement to protect the ball carrier. Well done. Turn two back to take the wood. Take the bad. Move up. We're going to take this block, I think. Um, oh, this might sound risky, but I think we're okay with this. 
Yeah, we're okay with that. We'll push you here. We'll stay put. All right, why don't you say, why don't you say we go back here? And why, what do you say we go here? Take away, take the bad. Shifting their defense. They're staying in front of the offense. Staying away from these lizard men. They don't want to take these blocks. Ooh, boy. Now what? Uh, where do I want the extra war dancer to be? I think I want the extra war dancer in front. So I'm going to send the war dancer here. I'm going to send the war dancer here. SP Beaver says, leap in. <laughs> Good dodge away from that Crocs with the prehensile tail. I think that's what we're going to do. And to turn two for Take the Wood, Take the Bad. Not so trusty patches, it says, got my coffee and a bowl of cheese crunchies. It's time for some Monday night blood bowl. Welcome to the stream. Ninja Clappy demands death. I demand one death on each team in this nuffle scuffle. Ah, uh, that's, that's rude. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> that's just mean. Why would you want an elf to die? Nobody wants an elf to die. Saris back to tie up both of these uh, elven players who are applying pressure to the back of this cage. Saris blitz on the war dancer. Two die blitz. Gets a push. Hey. <laughs> Why would you want an elf to die? How many pages do I have in this assignment, Professor? Says Clypheus. Ugh, ugh. We are elegant and beautiful. And limber and agile. <laughs> Look at these lizards. They're just big and angry. <laughs> One minute, 10 to go, and turn three for PPFC. Blitz taken on this uh, imposing war dancer on the back of the cage. One war dancer in the back, one in the front. Fox is gonna try to tie up the remaining war dancer. Remember, he has that prehensile tail to negate that dodge. No blocks left to take for PPFC. Looks like they're going to try to run this ball down the right wide zone. <laughs> Setting up the cage at uh, Take the Woods 10 yard line. SP Beaver says, I hear the next issue of the Mental Gazette will feature a 12-page thesis on why it's good to kill what else. GFI to cover the cage, well done by PPFC. It's another mark with uh, Gwen Stefani. What will he do with the skinks? Is he gonna give up the block? No, he's gonna to try to get them in on this offense. Covering the ground from behind against these two wood elves over in the right wide zone. A skink back, that's the sneaky get. He's gonna to try to foul with Christina Aguilera against the war dancer. That is just rude. That is just. What do you say we go after this ball, gentlemen? What do you say we go after this ball? What do you say? Um, let's go... Here.
We'll do that. We'll do, um, we'll do, hmm. Don't want to dodge any of these guys. Why don't we go? Here. We'll go here. We'll go here. Oh, I really should dodge these guys out before I do this. Uh, so I should. <laughs> I really should dodge these guys out before I do this, so I should. Uh, let's go here. And then let's move you... Um, bah, 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 bah. Let's move you here. Oh no, two GFIs, oh! Yikes, <laughs> yikes! We'll move you uh, here. All right. Well, why don't we um, prehensile tails, baloney? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go here. Oh, I forgot the blitz. Oh no, what a dummy dumb. What a dummy face. <laughs> I can't, I can't leap in now. Uh, well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I think we've just given up the score. You know what? You're gonna play some, you're gonna play some defense. Oh. Oh, misfortunate misplay. I take the win, take the bad. Turn four for PPFC. They got a couple of blocks. They got three blocks to take and a blitz. The blitz almost certainly coming on this war dancer. And then uh, Shakira will score to go up one to zero. Ah, oh, yikes. You have to declare your blitz before you move. And that, that, was a, that was a mistake. That was an error. Moves a player forward. <laughs> Moves Asaurus with the block skill forward. He's marking these two elves. Gonna try to take the two die block with the skink. Uh, this is not gonna work out. He's gonna spend the TRR. He's gonna get a push out of it. Clive says he's trying to sit everyone up together for a fireball. Uh, I, I don't think we want to spend the fireball on this on this misplay. Blitz coming up. Two die blitz. He gets the knockdown of Femice. Got the pal he was looking for, an eight plus. Breaks armor. Good block, didn't break armor. Still has a bunch of blocks to take, but he's just gonna score to win. One, zero, PBFC takes the lead. Well done by PPFC. If I am uh, if I am uh, quiet there, it's, I'm, I'm talking to uh, El Nuberino on Discord. He is sick, so we don't have him on the stream. Uh, but PPFC scores are up one to zero now. Uh, take the wood, take the bat are going to have five turns to try to tie this game up, and uh, I mean they could certainly do it. They've got the speed. We'll see if they can. We'll see if PPFC will allow it.
<laughs> if it says five turns is too many. <laughs> Yeah, again, when you take the blitz uh, action, you have to declare the blitz first. You can't move and then say you're going to blitz. So that movement meant that that war dancer could not leap in and blitz to try to try to break that cage. PFC setting up their defense here. One turn left in the first quarter for take the wood, take the bad. PPFC will start off this new drive to begin the second quarter. Currently with a four-man line. You have to put at least three players on the line if you can. And you can have a maximum of two players in either wide zone. Everything else is fair game. Lefty says, Wizard can be used right at the beginning of your turn, otherwise it ends your turn when you use it. That is correct. <laughs> no injury so far to be 11 v 11 on the pitch. Remember, PPFC has two skinks in reserve. Brittany Spears and Christina Aguilera back to receive. All right, let us set up our offense. I mean, we're not we're not going to do go up against the Crocs, but But we'll do this. PPFC does not have a kicker, so we don't really need to be worried about where number four is going to set up. It's a little it's a little close to the line of scrimmage, but you know, we don't we don't have to be that close. All right, and then we'll do we'll figure out what we want to do with these guys. So um, probably don't want to go up against the Crocs. Uh, where's Christina Aguilera? If we want to go in that direction, we can try to murder her, but then she'll try to foul us. You know what? Let's do it. Actually, no, let's not do it. Let's do this. We'll do that. We'll do this. Now we'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll see what he wants to do. Time for the kick here in the second drive of this game. That's what Jesse Patches says. Maybe just hit Brittany with a lightning bolt and then foul if she's still on the pitch. Cherry and Fads, wow. Take the wood, take the back, gets another reroll that brings him up to five. Even though PPFC had the, uh, the fan factor advantage, they don't have the fame advantage, Everybody, everybody's rooting for take the win, take the bad. Why don't we take this two die? Um, boy, where do we want to go? Um, let's do. Let's do, um, let's do, let's do this. Hey. 
We'll go here. We'll go here. Um, we'll go here. Send him downfield. We'll send him here, here, here. We'll send him here. So we have one war dancer behind, and we're going to have one war dancer in front. We'll pick up this ball. Failed pickup. I think we gotta pick this up. Two die block at the line. We're gonna push on Sarastari Amos. Uh, we'll stay put. Dodge, and I think that'll be it for our turn. Hey. <laughs> XP Beaver says 5 HE just isn't enough sometimes, man. <laughs> Not so trusty patches said we used to block uphill both ways in the snow. Go uphill! Uphill the Crocs with a War Dancer. No, thank you. <laughs> Although War Dancer uphill blocks are not bad. They're they're really not. It's they're all they care about is getting skulls. Anything else, they're totally fine with. Take the wood, take the bad. Currently caged up at their own eight yard line. Second quarter is gonna begin here with PPFC on defense. Take the wood, take the bad is gonna have one reroll left for every single turn. They're gonna get a knockdown on Dindiorn, the level three lineman. He is injured, he has an MA of six. Follows up on that blitz. Good knockdowns. Mark the number one war dancer, Thatica. <laughs> Calafia says, I don't know. He's running pretty low on, on team rerolls. <laughs> says level three lineman. He wasn't a level three. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say level three? I meant the number three lineman. Marks the number two war dancer on the right wide zone as expected. No more blocks to take. PPFC setting up their defense here. Two Sarses over in the right wide zone. Afraid of the number two war dancer. I would be too. He's scary. Shifting a lineman in the uh, middle linebacker's position. Actually, he was on the line. Shifting him back into a linebacker position. Trying to eat up some of the space. Prevent the run. Oh, he's going to try to foul Dindorn. I think it's a GFI to foul, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Here's the foul with Christina Aguilera. One assist on the foul. It's a stun. Dindiorn will stay on the pitch. Actually, no assist on the foul. That's all right. Well done. Turn five now for take the wood, take the bad. I mean, um, leap dodge. Leap dodge, I think. Leap dodge, I think. Who's going to be the blitz? Who's going to be the blitz? Uh, this could blitz here. Could blitz here. And I think I want to. <laughs> trusty Patches, not so Trusty Patches I, says, I love how grumpy the sorry sound when activated. It's like, what now? What now? Leave me alone. <laughs> I think we'll take the uh, the Dauntless block here. 
Um, I think it's what we want to do. And I think we want to do it now. I think that's what we want to do. Unless we want to blitz a skink. Um, but I think we want to do this instead. One die blitz, probably a two die blitz. Uh, skip it. We gotta push. Uh, you can go here. Stay put. And we'll go here. Um, I think we'll do this. <laughs> Leap dodge, baby. Leap dodge. Watch this. Pow, pow. Owie, zowie, blowie, Maui, Kablowie, and we'll do this. And I think that'll be our turn. Turn six back to PPFC. Where shall the Blitz be taken? He's got lots of options. I have to imagine he wants to go after these. Yeah, he wants to go after these War Dancers. The War Dancers are the name of the game on a Wood Elf team. If you can take even one off the pitch, you significantly weaken that team. <laughs> Not so trusty Patches says, you're supposed to trip and die when you say watch this. <laughs> He said he does not want that war dancer leaping over the first Saurus, I guess. Yes, well, we did it anyway. <laughs> One mark on the number two war dancer. One mark on the number five lineman over on the left side of the pitch. Two die blitz coming up against Thatica the War Dancer. Two die blitz, he gets a push. Pushes Thatica straight back, so he's going to take another block. Good job by El Nuberino. Gets another push. Will he follow up? Is the question. He does. Followed up, this will be a one die. No, this is an uphill block if he wants to take it. He can make it a one die block if he wants. Blitz has spent one, one more block to take. Possibly two. It's a skink in front of this war dancer. Doesn't want the war dancer to score. Clefy says, I cannot imagine he wants to devote his whole team to getting a one die unskilled block. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe so. <laughs> he can get the two die block out of this. But I, I don't think, oh, he's gonna do it. So he's not gonna try to foul. He's gonna get the two die block. Oh, let's see if he gets it. Two die block doesn't work out. He's gonna get a dodge push out of it. Uh, of course we're gonna dodge. Now he's gonna get a chain push out. <laughs> mm. 
And that'll be turn six for your PPFC. Well, uh, why don't we do this? Um, just leap out of this. Oh no. Spend that, spend that reroll, please. Spend that reroll, please. Uh, we'll go down pitch. Reroll spent for the turn. That's gonna put this this fella in a little bit of a hairy situation. I think we'll go here, um, or we can go here. And we're gonna blitz this guy. Do I want to blitz with the Fen player? Probably. So let's do this. Oh, I really want to blitz with the Fen player. So we just close off the gap here to cover the front corner of this cage. I think we're okay with this. One die, Fen Blitz. We're gonna get both down result, and that is what, I'm sorry, not Fen, Wrestle. That is what Wrestle is for. That is what Wrestle is for. Thirty-four seconds. Why don't we run you? Here. Clive says, I assume Ava <laughs> means wrestle not fen. Yes, my apologies. Uh, and then let's dodge you. Oof. Six, seven percent of the dodge. Let's do the leap instead. Uh, let's leap you. Leap you here. Well done. Good dodge. And that'll be our turn. Turn seven for BBFC. Two blocks to take and a blitz. Let's go. Turn seven. Two die block. Be a good knockdown on number five, Telenir. He's just there to eat up somebody's movement, somebody's action. He's he's at a very real risk of getting fouled, <laughs> but that's okay. Dude, I blitz on the war dancer. He's gonna do it from the end zone. If it doesn't work out, he wants to get in there. Oh, it's gonna work out. He gets the pal. Well done. Oh, and he's stunned. Excellent stun. That means the only receiver threatening right now is the war dancer, Thatica. He can't be blocked down, but he can be defended against. Clive says, I always feel that more of Avis players should have dodge. I wish that more of my players had dodge. <laughs> Warden, or not war dancers, uh, uh, wood elves do have catchers and throwers as well. They, they have a number of positionals. They have treemen. But we went with two war dancers and linemen. I think that's the way to go, personally.
Moving players forward. He's going to stop this run on the right wide zone. Wants to shut down movement. Yeah, here's the foul against number five. Lots of assists. Gets a KO. First KO of the game. Well done. He's not going to get called off the pitch. Uh, no, we'll skip that. One man player advantage now for PPFC. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Get all the marks you can. Gets in front of the other potential scorer as well. Turn seven, back to take the wood, take the bad. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think we want to take this blitz again. I think this time we're going to make it a two die blitz. And, um, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. That's a mistake, and it might cost us here. And indeed it did. Indeed it did. Another error by take the wood, take the bad. They covered up their only movement for the ball carrier. Failed the dodge after the error on Snake Eyes. Final turn of the game for P PPFC. They're going to get a block on Thatica. Going to get a dodge push out of this. Second block coming up. Probably, nope, not a Lannis Moore set. Two die block. Oh. We can't use dodge here. Uh, we're not going to use it. Hey. Not so trusty patch said surf incoming. No, because we elected not to use dodge. That's, oh, we had to elect not to use dodge because of that. Oh. Take really take that in trouble here. Two critical errors in this game. Yeah, no doubt foul the war dancer. No doubt. So let's see if he can get another assist in. He can. Alex says, how much death did I miss? Uh, you've missed me playing terribly. <laughs> I've made two very bad mistakes that have cost me so far. Uh, but there's been only one KO, no deaths, no deaths. Still has a blitz to take. Two die block, gets a good knockdown on number 11. Gets a stun, he'll be out for the rest of the half. Two die block, gets a good knockdown on number nine. We'll follow up for sure. Here comes the foul. Christina Aguilera fouling the war dancer. Didn't break armor. The illustrious Wood Elf Armor, known through all the land to be impenetrable. Two die block by the Crocs is going to be a both down result. Failed the loner roll, and that'll be the end of the drive. But he gets a stun out of it, and that's a great stun that's not going to provide the assist over here. Well, a turn eight, huh? I would really love to. Oh, we got to get in the end zone here, so let's do it. Yeah. 
And we're gonna have to take this blitz. It's gonna have to be a one die blitz. Let's, well, yes. It's very much gonna be a one die blitz. Let's do it. One die blitz, uh, that'll that'll work. That's what Fen's for. Or, I keep saying Fen, that's what Russell is for. Use the Russell skill. And now why don't we, why don't we, why don't we tie this ball game up? Short pass. Good reception. 1-1 one, one is the tie at the half. Take the, take the bad ties the ball game up. They'll be on offense here in the second half. Maybe they'll get it together. <laughs> Man. That's what Blood Bowl's about. Like, you have so much agency in this game that, uh, and, and, and props, oh, we get back our knockout player too. So it'll be 11 v 11 on the pitch. Uh, props to El Nuberino here. You're, every coach is under a two minute time limit. They're under the gun. Um, and so if you can get your opponent on tilt, if you get them to make mistakes, that wins games. You have so much agency in this game that even one mistake can lose you the, the game if you're not careful. That's why you need to mitigate that risk. You need to take your less risky actions first and your, your uh, most risky actions last. And, and then you can put yourself in a better position to, uh, you know, have a, have a more actionable turn to suffer some of these, these mistakes that you're, you're bound to make, but also <laughs> but also, uh, uh, it just it gives you more options. Uh, all right, I need to set up on offense here. Let's uh, uh, let's do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing. Clive has said that whole pretending you made a mistake was just to delay one more turn so PPFC doesn't get a chance to score back. Brilliant! <laughs> yeah, that's what I totally meant. <laughs> so PPFC going with a similar defense here. I think it worked out uh, fairly well for them before. Uh, take the wood, take the bat. Still has a wizard. Um, we'll see if we save it for the score or we save it to prevent PPFC from scoring. I think that's going to be the plan. I think we'll uh, leave everything exactly the way it is. Um, I should go one more space forward, uh, but I'm afraid of the kickoff event table. But you know what? I have I have the fame. What's the word? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm not going to tempt Nuffle. I apologize, Nuffle. You're my one and only lord. All right. Well, uh, we're going to set up like this on offense. Here's the kick. Neither team with a kicker, remember, so the ball's going to scatter all over the place. If PPFC had a kicker, take the wood, take the bad would have to reconsider their setup for reception. Quick snap, take the wood, take the bad. Gets to move. That's a great, great opportunity. Well, why don't we get Bellar Nilo under the ball? And why don't we get this ward answer up here? And we'll get him up there, and we'll get him up here. And we'll get him up here, and he's got to move into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get up here. Um, so why don't we do that? We'll do that, and I think, I think we'll be good with that. Man, with an AG of five, you can't catch the ball? Oh, somebody's gonna get a talking to in the locker room. How dare you? <laughs> Isn't that the second time he's failed to pick up the ball? <laughs> All right. Oh, Beller Nyla. See, he thinks he's, he thinks he's a star player. That's why he wasn't practicing this week. <laughs> SB Beaver says you can always cut him. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna take the Blitz on a Saurus. Um, probably take the two-die block first. Why don't we do that? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go here. We'll go here. 
I'll go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll be fine. And we'll go ahead and take this two die block on Sars Tori Amos. That'll work out. We'll push Tori Amos over here. We can stay put. Good stun on Tori Amos. Uh, well, a stun's a stun. I don't know if it's a good stun. If, it'll depend if we move in that direction. Now I think it's time to blitz. Why don't we blitz? Uh, let's see, where do we want to end up with you? Here? So you'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, here we'll take this blitz with the war dancer. One die blitz with the war dancer. Let's go. Um, that's fine. <laughs> Clive says, "How's he getting more stuns on PPFC <laughs> than PPFC is getting on him?" Uh, all right, I need to move. Should move left wide zone first, but I'm running out of time. I want to do this. Move over here. Move over here. And that'll... Uh... Oh, should have just left him... Uh, um, we'll skip that. Ah, he was stunned. <laughs> That's that prehensile tail at work that negates the dodge skill. Turn nine to PPFC, their first turn of this second half. <laughs> Malik says, no, SP Beaver says, yes. <laughs> Two die block on the word answer. Deciding, maybe second guessing whether he wants to take that block or not. He just yet might want to reposition some players. Not so Tristy Patches says, at least he's not injured. Yeah, at least he's not injured. He's easily picked up. Oh no! Gets the pow on Real Kadath. Push him back to the six yard line. Gets the knockdown. Why didn't he get. Oh, he wanted to push. Is he going to try to set up for a surf? He's gonna try to blitz for the surf. Wow, what a play! That puts a both down result, you jerk. <laughs> Gets the surf, well done. Great play by PPFC. Really well done by El Nuberino. Didn't even see it. One war dancer is off the pitch. You can see a good, uh, good presence of mind there to get this surf by PPFC. I felt so safe and secure in my own little bubble. <laughs> Sweet Beaver says, what a letdown of a surf. <laughs> now that free Crocs is gonna type the front of this cage here. PPFC is going to descend on this cage. They want to stop this score right here. They say, you have no one left. What are you going to do? You're going to get around my Sauruses? I don't think you are. SP Beaver says, time to pass. I mean, I don't want to give him an interception. What PPFC is doing right here, he's locked down three corners of this cage. That means this cage cannot move out first before the ball carrier moves out. Really good play. This is what we're talking about, how uh, coaches will try to force you to change your action order. If you want to move that cage, now you have to take more risky actions before you take your less risky actions. 
<laughs> Clefie says, announcer voice, he did go around the sources. <laughs> Here's a foul! It's a KO on Femice. That's two man, or uh, one man player advantage to, uh, to PPFC. Well done. It's Christina Aguilera. She's a sneaky git. Turn 10. Well, I mean, we got to try to score, right? I mean, I think we've had our, our hand has been forced. Our hand has been forced. I really don't want to give up the uh, interception attempt, but I think I have to. I think I have to. Eighty-five passer to um Here we go. It's an interception attempt here. He's got the skink and the Saurus. Good pass. Reception, and that will be two one. Hey. Take the wood, take the bad. It's gonna Will they? Yeah, let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Let's just score. <laughs> two to one. Take the wood, take the bad. Takes the lead in this game. There's a whole half left to play. Malik says, don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, good call. <laughs> Plavius says, get greedy. No, bad call. <laughs> and the knockout player is not gonna come back on the pitch. So it's gonna be a one man player advantage for PPFC here coming up in this third, fourth drive, fourth drive of the game. Uh, we're not gonna have our guard player this time, so we'll just we'll put all these guys. What SPP do we have? You've got zero. You've got five. You've got zero. Let's put you up there. You've got five, but you're injured. You've got five, and you're not injured. Um, we'll still give up that sideline. I think we're okay with that. We'll do this. We'll do this. Malik says he has a fireball for turnover. I sure do. Uh, we'll do this. That's the Fen player. He can stay by his lonesome. I think we're okay with that. Um, all right, and we'll see what what PBFC wants to do. Both teams with three team rerolls. Eight turns left for PBFC to try to tie this ball game up. Take the wood, take the bad. Still has a wizard on the table. SP Beaver says, should have blitzed someone with the ball carrier just to show you have no fear. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Remember, the, I, I could have made it a one die block, but even if it was an uphill block, the word answer doesn't really care so much. It's just, uh, when it's a one, when it's an uphill block, you're probably not gonna get the knockdown. And so what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? I, I was seeing if I could blitz and then keep my distance where nobody could get to me for one more turn. Um, but I couldn't do it, so. All right, why don't we? Uh, we're gonna do dead center. Um, we could do deep. He probably wants to give to either one of these skinks, but if it comes shallow, we'll just fireball him and take the ball. So we'll, uh, we'll go here. Here's the kick. It's a riot. Both teams lose a turn. This hurts PPFC more than it hurts. Take the wood, take the bad. Malik said to the line. Uh, I mean, that that's perfectly valid. If I had a kicker, absolutely, I'd totally do that. PPFC now with just six turns to try to tie this ball game. They're gonna set up the cage on the ball. Ball currently at the 16 yard line, when PPFC is 16 yard line. They have three blocks to take on the line and a blitz. <laughs> Clavius says six still seems like so many. <laughs> Good push on the left side of the line. Yeah. SP Beaver says, I think you mean just six turns to attack elves. <laughs> Two die block on the right side of the line. This is gonna be a good block. This is against the injured lineman. He has a smash hip. Let's hope nothing else gets smashed. <laughs> Malik says, ask George if he's ever showing up to game night again. I will ask him after uh, after our match. Two die block on the center is gonna be a push. 
He's gonna push right to the side so he can get another block out of this. Smart move. We'll see if he blocks with the Crocs next. Nope, he's gonna take it with the Saurus. No, he is gonna take it with the Crocs. Good job. Gets the pal with the Crocs. If that didn't work out, he could push here and get another block. Good block by the Crocs. Frees up Alanis Morissette, the number nine Saurus. Had a beautiful music career. Now she plays Blood Bowl. They're gonna blitz the wrestle player. We'll see if it works out. Two die blitz. It's gonna get a knockdown. That will work out. Gets a KO. Well done. Two man player advantage now for PPFC. That critical player is off the pitch. That's the player with wrestle. He was uh, instrumental in that second TD for take the wood, take the bad. Let's see if he wants to take a mark. I don't see why he why he wouldn't, but we'll see. Let's see what he wants to do here. Two sources free, two sources to take a mark with. Still has to pick up the ball. 40 seconds left in turn 11. Good pickup. <laughs> Clavia says, no, he will fail to pick up the ball six turns in a row. <laughs> Not so trusty. Patches says, that's my kind of luck. <laughs> Moves the ball carrier forward. Ooh, wow. Wow. 20 seconds left to play. One, two, three. Wow. Yeah, he's going to move it. He has to move Asaris back. If he didn't move that Saurus into position, that is a lightning bolted Shakira. Try to take the foul over here on number five. Gets another KO, three man player advantage for PPFC. Christina Aguilera finally gets called off the pitch. That cheater, that dirty, dirty cheater. <laughs> All right, turn 12 now. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, he's, he is desperately afraid of the fireball. You can see that's why he didn't group up all those skinks. Uh, and I don't disagree. He could leap. One, two, blitz. Um, I don't think that's the play, though. I think we got a blitz. Mariah Carey and shift our defense. So why don't we move Mariah, move, move Ag, Athgros over here. Malik says you can hit them target center. Uh, pardon? I am, uh, I'm gonna take the blitz here, I think, and reset my defense first. Um, unless I want to send a lone war dancer down there, but I don't think that's what I want to do. Um, Clifey says the fireball doesn't have to hit a player. Y yeah, but <laughs> what else am I doing with it? Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to go here. Take a one die blitz. That'll work. Uh, you'll go over here, and we'll stay put. And then we'll move you there. And then you will go here. And you'll go here. If he wants to get aggressive, feel free to group your dudes together. Go here. Go here. Uh, and then watch this. Watch this shenanigans. Uh, oh, maybe I don't want to sh shenanigans that. Um, that Crocs is still a problem, but, you know, we'll do this. We'll do this. Why not? 
And we'll take this. Oh, we're not taking that one die block. Get out of my face. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> we'll be done with that. We're going to give him that uh, that one die block. He could easily make that a two die block. So we dodged him right back out. He only has a, he only fails on a one on the dodge. So we're okay. <laughs> Not so trusty patches says, quote, watch this. <laughs> yeah, forget that. <laughs> that was another mistake. <laughs> I really need to be watching these skills. <laughs> Take some mark on the number 10 lineman. Mark or possible blitz on the number two war dancer. Let's mark that lineman so that lineman can't lend the assist. If he wants to stand up Mariah Carey for the blitz, Mariah Carey will get a two-die blitz on number two. Yes, here it comes. No, oh, he says, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna GFI that. <laughs> two-die blitz. Gets the pow. Eight plus will injure Ril Kadath, one of the two war dancers. One of the two positionals. Doesn't happen now, but, oh, the sneaky gets off the pitch. He does have a three-man player advantage. He might be willing to risk risk some fouls. We'll see. Malakos GFI is an instant fail. It is indeed, and he wisely decided against it. <laughs> Looks like PPFC might be looking to cage up at Take the wood, take bats, 10 yard line. They're gonna do it at the eight instead. Well done by PPFC to prevent the, the, uh, the leap blitz on the ball carrier. Mark. He's going to mark as many people as possible. He doesn't want people uh, getting uh, collapsing down on this cage. I think he's in scoring position. Two die block on the number seven lineman. That will be a... Oh, another KO four-man player advantage for PPFC. Uh, no, we'll skip that. Deciding not to take the GFI here. He's going to move Asaris forward. Not so trusty patches said, I forget, do war dancers have jump up? They do not. So they, they've got to spend their MA to stand back up. Turn 13. All right. So we can mark him. He's already marked. Why don't we try to blitz this Skink. <laughs> While we try to blitz the skink, eh? A. Uh, let's do this. Um, hey! Alex says fireball. Uh, there's still four turns left. I, I could save it for when, if he scores, I can save it for when it's my turn to score. Um, but I think the plan here is... Um, I'm gonna stand him, oh God. I'm gonna stand him up and. I'll stand him up and move him here. Hopefully he doesn't get surfed again. Uh, and then you, you will go, you will go here, I think. GFI, GFI, good GFI. Let's try a leap blitz, shall we? One, two, three, four, that'll be fine. Hands on his feet. 
to die. Skink Blitz, let's go. Gets a push. Um, mm, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. And uh, we'll push the Skink over here. And we will follow up. Try to surf both my war dancers. Try to surf both my war dancers. I dare you. I dare you. Not so trusty patch, it says team reroll. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Prehensile tail dodge? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. Um, gives me two rerolls left for the. Um, now nah, we're good. Oh, it was a stun too. Oh, that, I, I just didn't want it to break armor, <laughs> and it broke armor. <laughs> Well, like I said, why here, not on the Blitz? Uh, because uh, I would rather have my defense here. Like, getting the ball is great and all, but I, I care more about preventing his score than going after the ball. I still have three turns. If he scores, I can still score. I can score in two turns. <laughs> Clevy says, getting the ball is great and all. <laughs> two die block on this poor lineman. He's gonna get a pal. No injury so far. Let's see if I just spoke too soon. Well done. Two die blitz is gonna try to set up for this surf. He's gonna take the push. He's gonna try a skink surf here, I think. Oh, he's not going to follow up. He just wants to take the war dancer out. No, it does look like he's going to go for the surf here. There it is. Two die surf. He gets it. Well done. War Dancer is now off the pitch. I think it's a five-man player advantage for PPFC at this point. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and do all that. <laughs> go ahead and do all that. You know what? If you do that, you deserve you deserve the score. Clive says, man, does he even have injuries turn all the way down again? <laughs> SP Beaver lowered the GFI failure rate from 900% to a measly 99%. We'll see if PPFC wants to take advantage of that. Crocs marks the two downed elves. He's going to try to pick apart these elves at this point. Just six elves left on the pitch. Trying to gain some field advantage here. He's trying to control the pitch here, keep elves from getting here. This gives him a corridor to run down should he need to. He's gonna do it! Failed the dodge! There's the ball scatter, and he gets stunned for his troubles. <gasps> oh no. I mean, I think this is the time, right? This is the time. A lightning bolted Osaurus. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna dodge pickup. 
Then we're gonna move players around. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. This will be a, he'll get a chance at an interception. This will be a 75% chance on the pass. No interception, good pass by. Take the wood, take the bad. Nobody can get to them. They, they're gonna get hurt for their, <laughs> for their troubles. <laughs> they're about to, they are about to take a beating. <laughs> so let's, why don't we go ahead and take a blitz on the Saurus. <laughs> SP Beaver says, great wizard, thanks. <laughs> Malik says, need the fall down skill. <laughs> we'll take a one die block on the Saurus here. We still have our TRR, let's go. One die block, that'll work. We just want to push him away. Um, yeah, we'll say put. Clifey says you can't stop the elves from scoring, but you might be able to stop them from breathing. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> uh, why don't we... Well, no, why don't we try another uh, double dodge? Double dodge for this lineman? He's got five SPP. Do we want to <laughs> risk his death? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> We got a team reroll. Let's go! <laughs> oh, he's he survives. <laughs> he survives. All right, turn fourteen back to PPFC. He's sitting on five SVP too. <laughs> it just, he says, you know what? I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Let's go. My name's Agros. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try to force this score. He has to. He can hope for a riot. I don't know if there's much PBFC you can do at this point, um, but I mean, this is this is the right call. You can see El Nuberino, of course, uh, a great coach. You saw him uh, set up that surf that I didn't even see. Cause I'm <laughs> uh, so that was great. He's got to force this score here, um, but you can bet he's going to take some blocks. Uh, he's got uh, he's got a blitz to take. He might even take a foul. I, I mean, at this point, why not? Malik actually made a great point. He said foul, get sent off and save a life. That's absolutely true. Uh, at this point, why not? I, uh, uh, take the wood, take the bad really should uh, foul and save a life. Uh, we're gonna dodge here because he can't get another block on the war dancer. Uh, yeah, that's an excellent point by Malik. Yeah, there's lots of tactics in Blood Bowl and that's, that's a really good one. Uh, if you want to save a life, if you want to take him off the pitch without fear of breaking uh, armor, uh, taking a foul is a great opportunity to do that. Thirty-eight seconds left in turn fourteen for PPFC. It looks like they're going to set up to do just that. Going to try to take a foul on number nine. It looks like. No, he's gonna try to take out this war. He says, you know what? If you try to stall, I'm gonna murder your war dancer. <laughs> Two turns left in this ball game. I think there's really nothing for take the wood, take the bad to do, but to score. Three one the score now. Take the wood, take the bad increases their lead. The beautiful 
human elven cheerleaders. You know what? You know what, Clivius? I think that sound effect, I think that's really what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Trusty Patches says, GG. Yeah, it has been a great game. Um, we already got one of our knocked out players back. So <laughs> we're only going to have, what, uh, eight players on the pitch here for the final two turns? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we'll do that. Clive says this is such a high scoring game. Uh, it is. Uh, we're going to give up both wide zones. Uh, I'm going to let him decide. And the reason we're doing this is because uh, if he wants to... If he wants to um, go down both, he'll have to spread out his team. And if he wants to go down one, I've got the speed to cover that. So I think we'll be fine here. Um... We'll do this. If he wants to go after this war dancer, God bless him. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Hello, darkness. Thank you for the bits, by the way, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I think this will be our setup here. Not so dressy patch says you should switch to orc cheer to make everyone watch that. To watch that three or four times per match. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> yeah, it's PPFC putting everybody on the line. He's gonna try to score here in the final two turns. SP Beaver, are you applauding? Him trying to murder my team? <laughs> Is that what you're applauding? How dare you? <laughs> Seven man line for PPFC. Two players back to receive. Don't have the sneaky get, but they can foul all the same. They have a player in reserve. I don't know if they notice. Oh, I think they want to leave her out because she's injured. Um, we'll just do mid. We'll do mid. We'll see what happens. And that's what Trusty Patches says. Time for sweltering heat. Take the wood. Take the bad. Getting every bit of advantage from the fame. They get to take a free blitz. A free bonus turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, sure. Blitz a skink. Um, no, I don't think so. I think we're going to GFI our word answer. That's what I think we're going to do. And then I think. We will, um... And then I think we'll blitz a skink. <laughs> I think we'll blitz a skink. Two die blitz on the skink on the right side of the pitch. That'll be a pal. Gonna push. Uh, we will stay put. And we finally get our first KO. Shirley Manson knocked out. He might spend his apothecary. Decides not to. I don't think he needs to. Um, and then we'll go here. Turn 15 for PPFC.
Three blocks to take on the line. If he wants to move anybody on the line except the ends, he's gonna have to take these blocks first. He has all three of his TRIs remaining. Two die a block. It's a good knockdown. Still hasn't freed up any players on the line. He's got to take two more blocks. Uh, but he can move the ends. And he's still going to have his blitz. This is going to be a good block on number nine, the center. PPFC has to move this ball forward or else uh, take the wood, take that's going to have an opportunity to try to go up four to one here in the final turn. Yeah, well done. That's what you got to do. Here's the pass. Failed the pass. He's got to spend the TRR. Good pass, good reception. He can just shuttle down the pitch and score. <laughs> Clive said, did Elven Armor get buffed in a patch and I didn't read the notes on? <laughs> Good movement by Britney Spears. She'll be able to score in turn 16. Unless a miracle happens for take the wood, take the bad. Final block on the line. Three die block, it's gonna be a good knockdown on number three. Gets the pow. Chain push. Gets a KO, Dindyorn will take that. He says, I do not wanna be on this pitch anymore. Thank you very much. <laughs> Try to blitz the war dancer. Six seconds left in turn 15 for PPFC, considering what to do with Shakira. Turn 16, take the wood, take the bad. Final turn of the game. Uh, PPFC will have their final turn 16 coming up. One die block against Alanis Morissette. Let's go. Good pal. Um, two die blitz. What do you think? What do you think? Two die blitz. Let's go. Two die blitz. Oh, Ooh. we'll take the push. We'll take the push and we'll get out of dodge. Poor War Dancer is going to need a blitz, but he can take it. He's a pro. He's a champion at this game. Failed prehensile tail dodge. Uh, we'll spend the TRR. And then um, we're going to save our War Dancer. Hopefully. All right, with that out of the way, We've got two lowly <laughs> linemen. Let's, uh, let's, um, what do you think about that, huh? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Let's not do that. Let's do here. 
Um, none of that matters. I, I really want to do this just just for the giggles. <laughs> SP Beaver says you can do it, <laughs> but uh, but no. Let's do uh, let's do this. Beautiful song. Beautiful Titanic flute. Thank you for the bits. We're just gonna roll D6s over and over. What what's the worst that can happen? Alright, that'll be it. Turn 16 back to El Nuberino. We'll see if he wants to take his blitz first or if he wants to score and get the SPP for the TD. He does have a TRR left. Take the wood, take the bad. Still has their apothecary. If anything happens to our poor, poor war dancer, we're hope this is uh, our apothecary. You might have heard of him. He's Dr. Doogie Hauser. He's a medical doctor. He's the best in the business. He's gonna take this. He's gonna take this blitz, and he's probably gonna take the blitz in the foul. <laughs> Here's the blitz. Whole lot of dice on the blitz. He gets the knockdown. Eight plus breaks the armor. <gasps> and he got the injury. Let's see what it is. No long term effect. Skip it. <laughs> get off the pitch. <laughs> That'll be it. All that's left to do is score. Three, two is going to be the final. Take the win, take the bad. It's going to win this one. That'll be it. Three to two, the final. Britney Spears with a TD. The lovely PPFC cheerleaders. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was talking, so I muted. I was talking to uh, El Nuberino uh, in chat. He's a good sport and uh, a good coach as always. Uh, that's why I was muted. My apologies. <laughs> He's sick. <laughs> but uh, three, two is going to be the final. Take the one, take the bad. It's going to take it. Uh, SPP for the game is going to be 14 for PPFC. And uh, take the one, take the bad. It's going to come away with eight, uh, six, five, four. It's going to come away with 14 as well. So not a bad pickup for both coaches. Ninja Gobby says, Ava, if, uh, you are muted if you're talking. Yeah, uh, thank you. I, I apologize for that. Uh, Clive said, did your five agility elf level again? Yes, indeed. Belar Nyla is going to pick up level three. 
Uh, I am excited to figure, I don't know what, what we're gonna take. Maybe it's something amazing. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we take when Bella Nyla, uh, Nayla levels up. Lisa Loeb gonna pick up her first skill as well. She'll be leveling up to level two. Uh, Lisa Loeb probably is gonna pick up the block skill. It's a decent pickup uh, for Asaris, a pretty good pickup for Asaris. Uh, it could be anything. It's gonna depend on what El Nibirino wants to do, but I, I have to imagine it's gonna be block. Uh, we can take a look at the statistics here really quick before we leave. Ball possession, 43% for about 37% for Pitch Fan Club. You saw just how fast Elves score. And you saw El Nubarino use this Lizard team expertly. He he picked off uh, the War Dancer when he could. He got a Surf, not once, but twice on the War Dancers and got an injury at the end of the game uh, that didn't amount to anything, but he still got that injury. Uh, he knows exactly what to do against these, this Wood Elf team. You go after those War Dancers when you can. Um, if you can, and, and a Lizard team absolutely can with all that strength on the uh, on the roster. Not so trusty patch says strength four, AG five. Man, a girl can dream. <laughs> Eleven armor breaks for PPFC as per the usual for a Lizard team. Two armor breaks for Take the Wood, Take the Bad as per the usual for an Elven team. Three to two is the final, and that will be it for week two. Nothing left on the schedule. Week three will be scheduled, uh, will be up tomorrow, and the coaches will start scheduling their matches tomorrow. Uh, when those schedules go up, you'll be able to check those out right here on Twitch, and you can also check it out on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. You'll see the information for that right there on your screen. I hope you had fun tonight, I had a blast. Play Blood Bowl, it is a fantastic game. You can play it right here with us uh, via Blood Bowl 2, which you can pick up on Steam, uh, or you can play the tabletop version at your friendly local game store. Either way, play this game. Where else do you get to see Lisa Loeb the Saurus murder uh, elves <laughs> in a game of football? Nowhere but Blood Bowl, it's super fun to play. Um, but uh, until week three, week three, in fact, will be uh, the midway point of the season. It's the midway point of the Spike Magazine trophy. Uh, there's one more open competition after the Spike Magazine trophy. It'll be the Dungeon Bowl if you want to play with us. It is an open competition. It's open to new and veteran coaches alike. Uh, I hope to see you there. But if not, I hope you enjoy watching these matches. And we'll see you back here for week three in the Spike Magazine trophy. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen.